Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing an in-depth review about this Apple Watch Series 10 which I had purchased about a month ago and I have a lot of pointers to talk about it. So this is going to be an in-depth review but I'll broadly divide it into uh, four different parts so that you can judge if this is right for you or not. First we'll talk about the good things, some of the improvements, hardware and also in the new uh, OS that is, uh, we are getting on the Apple Watch. Second thing I'll in-depth talk about the battery life in various different scenarios what is the battery life that i'm getting and what you can expect so and then, then we i'll talk about some of the uh, things that i did not like uh, poor implementations could have been better and um, then i'll also talk about the recommendations who is this for but anyways let me first start with the uh, the uh, summary and again guys if you do not know from last year onwards i have been actually uh, uh, paying a lot of attention to my health in fact uh, um, i was not well and last year i posted a video about my health uh, and uh, from that time i'm very very uh, uh, spending a lot of time uh, regarding my health and all those things and thus uh, i've been uh, wearing smart watches for example this is the garmin this is the uh, what is that samsung watch ultra whatever i have been using the garmin quite a bit so i'll also be comparing it i would say with some of the other smart watches that i've used in terms of fitness what do i feel about it and uh, to summarize i would say uh, this apple watch series 10 is an ideal watch if you're having a iphone i would say this is the ideal smart watch for 90 percent of the iphone users um Apart from that, I would say just the 5% who are super athletic or something like that. Maybe the Garmin might be better. I'll talk about that, all those two things in this video. So let's start with this. And first uh, we'll talk about is, uh, uh, what is this? Uh, the good things and some of the improvements that I have seen. Okay, it comes inside this box like this, guys. Uh, and this is the watch itself. And again, this will be in this. And uh, we also have a charging pack. Uh, and uh, again, we also have a strap. I removed the default strap that I was getting. And this was the default strap uh, that I was getting. But I just purchased this, uh, this one from Amazon. I think so this is just 450 rupees. Uh, by the way, guys, the Apple Watch actually comes in uh, two sizes and two variants. The 42 mm and the 46. This is the 46 mm that I'm having. And this is the cellular uh, model. Uh, and again, uh, I hate the fact that the pricing is too high in India. Uh, the regular one is for 49,900, almost 50,000. Whereas the cellular one is 10,000 rupees more, almost 60,000. Uh, I'll leave the link of Amazon because I've seen that on Amazon now. The pricing has reduced slightly and you can add some credit card offers. So I'll leave the link. But again, certainly pretty, pretty expensive considering some of the other watches that you can get smart watches for example now the pricing of the samsung galaxy ultra has come down to forty-five thousand, and this one is actually having cellular and stuff built in and this should be actually compared to the uh, apple watch ultra i would say so certainly on the expensive side uh, if you're going with the cellular but i opted for the cellular because uh, i generally go for those morning runs and stuff like that and i don't like to carry a phone with me so that way the cellular helps but apart from that if you don't have that niche uh, scenario or something then you can completely skip the cellular one okay first thing uh, is regarding the let me uh, remove this watch the first thing is that this one is uh, one mm actually slimmer and also sl uh, slightly bigger at 46 mm let me just zoom in so that you get an idea so as you can see it's slightly bigger and again uh, the screen is almost edge to edge again i like this particular color this is the jetpack color so again it looks like a seamless experience so it looks actually very very good i i, I would say in this aluminium one this is the best looking one this sits very close to your wrist like this again this passcode man okay very close to your wrist so even when you're sleeping or something like that uh this does not cause discomfort in fact i've been now wearing it as my primary smartwatch for the past uh, uh, month and if you notice no nicks or anything generally with other of the uh, other watches as you can see they are quite a bit thicker than these watches in fact and due to this again if you notice this is my ultra I actually nicked it because it sits so high on your wrist like this, it hits. Uh, I, that was the same case even with my Garmin. I've got a nick over here. So that way I would say this is, has to be one of the most comfortable. In fact, the aluminum actually also does not weigh that much. So even for sleep tracking or something like that, with at least a strap like this, 
you feel hardly uh, it's there on your hand that is not the case with the slightly bulkier watches like the garmin or the Ult uh, galaxy ultra or something while you're sleeping and uh, you definitely notice that so that way i would say apple has done a great job now uh, coming to the call quality here i would say again with apple watch you can actually always take calls that is nothing new but here on the series 10 i feel this is a big improvement that they have done they have improved the microphone and now they're calling some ai enhancements that they're doing for your voice even a noisy environment when i was out um, um, and i took some calls via the watch itself uh, because my phone was in my pocket the other parties did not complain that I was uh, there was a lot of noise or something and I took some calls on the road so that way I would say the call quality is good uh, coming to the cellular uh, again I'm using it with Airtel and again uh, this is I'm having the cellular uh, uh, thing and I don't have any problems with this no issues in fact when I go for my morning uh, runs and jogs every day about 40-50 uh, minutes it's only on the cellular I do not take this so connectivity is not a problem I have taken calls etc with this one so uh, definitely i would say big improvement uh, compared to earlier uh, apple watches is the call quality in particularly in noisy situations is better uh, speaker volume is also decent i would say uh, so uh, if you, you just near uh, your ear like this you can easily hear the uh, conversation uh, now next thing is uh, about the brightness on this one uh, and uh, this is about 2000 nits of brightness according to apple and i have to say uh, this is uh, adequately bright in my frank opinion and i did not have any issues when i was using this uh, watch outdoors in direct sunlight or whatever you flick the wrist and it is easily visible uh, so that way i would say yes the apple watch ultra goes up to 3000 nits but this 2000 nits is ample i would say i did not have problem any problem in the last uh, 30 odd days of usage of this watch okay next thing that i love with apple watches is that and i think so this is one area where apple watches uh, are much better than the competition like garmin or whatever is the taptic engine that is the vibration feedback that you get on this one i think so that's calibrated very very well they can control the intensity of the vibration very easily uh, very light taps to four taps or something like that so that way i would say that has been implemented still very very well unlike the new iphone 16 pro where i feel the haptics quality has gone down quite a bit so that was actually great now uh, let's talk about the health tracking on this one and if you go to the health app it gives you a lot of metrics uh, heart rate also it does but again one thing, thing to notice that if you want that you have a super athlete or something like that don't expect continuous heart rate like you get on garmin garmin does the heart rate tracking continuously this again is a basically a snapshot every 10 odd minutes it takes so that's what it is sleep tracking is also uh, there i would say sleep tracking is fine but uh, could have been better because one thing i notice is that uh, this watch is not tracking if you take naps in the evening or something like that properly sometimes it completely just skips it even though i have uh, i go here and if i go even to do not disturb and go and sleep then also sometimes it actually skips the what do you say uh naps so that is something that you have to note step tracking again no issues whatsoever uh I, one day i was actually wearing the garmin on my right hand and this one on the left and i did a run for about four kilometers and both were very very close to each other in fact in terms of gps accuracy also i do not have a problem though this is the garmin phoenix 7 pro they're higher end this comes with dual gps or something but in the, on this one also the gps tracking was done very very well so in terms of that sports tracking etc it's good in, in fact one thing i really like about this one is that even the heart rate tracking while you're running uh, everything is very very accurate very very close to what i was getting on the garmin and i uh, for, for the garmin uh, i had actually uh, uh, done a proper test of this uh, uh, did a, what do you say that on a treadmill they put all electrodes on my chest and i uh, actually checked the heart rate and it was just one beat of difference between the medical equipment and this and the apple watch is also very very close uh, also gives you some metrics like your walking steadiness etc your resting heart rate uh, all this thing and again if you go into all the heart other things it gives you a lot of actually data about it in fact uh, a walking speed your stride length your heart rate etc uh, and everything uh, resting heart rate i would say i'm getting a bit of a variation 
on the Apple Watch compared to what I'm getting a little bit on the Garmin. So I'm not very, very sure. Uh, I think so they calculate it very, very differently uh, in my frank opinion. So that's what I've noticed but because uh, the Garmin, uh, this one, while you do the sleep, uh, it actually shows you the uh, tracking a little bit better. I would say here, if I go over here, if I go the resting heart rate, it was down to 63 minutes, but uh, the other resting heart rate is very, very different. So again, some ambiguity that you're getting. Uh, again, uh, respiratory, uh, uh, luckily the SpO2, as we are in India, we do get the SpO2 re uh, readings, whereas if you're in US, you don't get that because of some patent issue. So that way I would say, in terms of the uh, health tracking, they are doing quite quite a bit on this one in fact number of states that you have climbed etc blood oxygen level that's what now uh, this was not this does not work in us and all this thing so you get that tracking and everything and all those things so again in terms of tracking it does that again wrist temperature is also there but i don't know uh, uh, what to make out of this but uh, this is a new thing that is this vital uh, app that you have on this one this one is uh, just gives you an idea about your daily uh, health. Uh, one new metric that uh, actually uh, Apple has added and that is not specific to this watch. I think it's a new watch OS. If I go to fitness, uh, this is the training load and this starts appearing only after 20 days of 28 days of tracking so that is something you have to note and if you go over this this, this is something that i like because this is something that garmin does very very well every day if you're wearing the garmin continuously and if you're an athlete uh, every day in the morning it will give you an idea ki, uh, you can work out a little bit more today don't work out that much because your fitness level is not that good don't strain yourself or a particular day it will say that go push yourself on this so this is very something very very similar to that training load for example i was not that super active during the but last week again if you notice i started working out a little bit for example i did this one hour run uh, that day and again uh, this uh, tracked the training load and it said that uh, it is above my normal range and i can get fatigued and yes i was fatigued for the last two days so again this is a new improvement that it has done but i i feel uh, garmin uh, gives you that data every day in the morning at least for the higher end variants here you have to go into this app and actually check this out uh next thing that i love about apple watches is that the strap replacement is super super easy as i've told you uh came with default with this one and you can just slide in and you and the best part is that uh my old apple watch i had was apple watch 3 the same straps that i had on that one works on this one so that way i would say it's good and again uh, you you can get third party uh straps for pretty very le very less uh, and amazon i think so i purchased this one for just about 450 rupees so that way i like uh, unlike samsung which keeps on changing every generation and uh, you have to go with the branded ones and these are super super expensive so i like that consistency what apple is doing with the straps next thing now let's talk about the battery life that i'm getting we also have this always on and if you notice i have disabled this always on on this watch uh, and if i just leave it it just goes off if i just flick my wrist it comes in with the always on display uh, I would say I was getting a battery life anywhere from 18 hours to 22 hours. So again, you have to charge it one day. But uh, without the always on, for example, and this is again, this data is with one hour of workout outdoors and GPS, about 45 minutes to one hour of workout that you're doing. Uh, without this always on, the battery life increases significantly, I would say. And I'm getting anywhere uh, from about... Uh, uh, 36 hours that is about one and a half days of usage to even about 42 hours of usage when I just keep it like this the, the display just goes off so again if you want that always on yes it's fancy and whatever but again you will have to charge it every day I would say one thing I, I would say the biggest improvement in series 10 compared to earlier Apple watches is that the charging speeds have been increased dramatically now it can charge about 80% in just 30 minutes. And that's making a huge difference. Uh, generally, uh, even after a typical 24 days, 24 hours of usage, uh, generally uh, morning I do my workout, etc. and I come. And I and I, even at that, uh, that time, generally the battery life left is about 
45 to 55 percent after about 24 hours of usage and i just put it on the charger before going to uh, for my shaving and shower and everything and by the time i just come out it is mostly about 100 percent charge so that way i would say the faster charging speed is making a huge impact and even at night let's say for some reason you didn't charge it for one and a half days or whatever uh, and night the charging is low uh, let's say at 10 15 percent you just keep it on for 15 minutes on the charger and you have enough charge that you can wear it and track your sleep etc so that way i would say the biggest improvement practical improvement i would say personally for me was the faster charging speeds that we are getting is in that area i would say samsung this ultra fails miserably this actually takes two more than almost more than two hours to actually charge and that way yes though the, technically the battery life is double than this one but because of the super high charging times uh, it is actually quite annoying that way i would say in terms of battery life if you want the best battery life or etc something like that then garmin is the king this one gives me actually a battery life of 14 days and, and generally i charge it just every sunday so i'm never out of charge so that is regarding the battery uh, life and the biggest improvement for me was the faster charging that we are uh, getting okay now about the bad things uh, that i have noticed on this and this is a big anomaly that i have noticed on the apple watch again as i've told you guys I've been actually using it to uh, track the health metrics, running and all those things like I do with Garmin. And one uh, important uh, metric that we have uh, is known as VO2 max. And if I look at the VO2 max on this one, that's in cardio fitness, you'll notice that it is showing me a very low VO2 max of 30.8. And I can tell you that this value is completely wrong. Because my VO2 max values, as you can see on the Garmin, uh, is about 40. It was actually 43 earlier because I've been working out a little bit less. It came down to 42. And that is the same VO2 max that I get even on the Ultra. In fact, I was so puzzled with this result is that I checked with some of my uh, running friends who actually are way, way fitter than me. They do uh, actually full marathon that is 42 kilometers they run. And every week they run uh, that half marathon that is 21 kilometers. And uh, one of them, wa uh, two of them actually were using the Apple Watch. And for them also, <laughs> this uh, cardio fitness that is the vo2 max values are completely wrong one of them was showing just 33 his one he's doing full marathon that is 42 kilometers has to be about around 49 to 50 and another one also who does the uh, for him it is showing 36 so the vo2 max values are completely wrong i would say so this is one big bug that i've found on this one and again uh, i checked this is not just with the series 10 one of my friend was using the series 9 earlier he was using the series 6 and it was the same result and again uh, one more friend was again using the series 9 so it's not about the series 10 series 9 the vo 2 max values that the apple is actually detecting and showing here is way 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 off i can uh, imagine one or two points off but this is way off minus 42 i know that because uh, i know with garmin and even with this what i would say and i interact every day i run with the running groups and all this thing those guys are very very particular about the rear to max values etc so this is completely wrong this is one big metric that is off apart from this the other metrics health metrics were fine for me next thing that i do not like is that i have already touched upon it these apple watches again these are not the super high-end titanium ones these are the aluminium ones are super super expensive in india the 46 mm that i have the even the base variant uh, uh, that we have uh, uh, is for almost fifty thousand. and if you're opting for the cellular model uh it is sixty thousand and this is the aluminium version again the titanium version i think so will cost 20 25000 more so again super super expensive i would say in india uh next thing is though, though these are super super expensive in india 50000 60000 and this is not uh, cheap by any standards still the glass on these watches the aluminium version is not sapphire glass but iron glass so i am a little bit worried uh, if you are more into fitness and something and accidentally if you bang this watch there's a very high chance that it will crack that will simply not happen if the glass was sapphire i have abused this uh, garmin i would say um, it got nicks everything nothing has happened and even the 
Samsung's uh, what do you say uh, uh, this is the ultra uh, which is for about 45,000 now on Amazon this also is having the sapphire glass and trust me guys the sapphire glass is way 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 tougher than the um, glass that we have so again if you are that super athletic kind uh, keep banging your wrist everywhere again that is something you have to note guys because i have seen apple watches with the, the base aluminium ones having a lot of nicks and uh, stuff like that so that is something that i do not like and also uh, regarding the health metric bo2 max i don't like and second thing is uh, the sleep tracking the sleep tracking uh, at night it does it fine but the naps tracking i would say is a big hit or a miss apple really needs to work on uh, that and uh, uh, lastly i would say my recommendation again as i've told in the uh, first part of the video i would uh, definitely recommend the apple watch if you are using an iphone and wanted a smart watch for 90 percent of the users i would say this one is the way to go now it is lighter very very comfortable to wear uh, and gets a lot of basics right i would say for so i would say 90 of the users you can go with this but again if you are that rugged user or something maybe you'll have to move to the ultra and again if you are a fitness freak or something um, trying to do those marathons or full marathons training for that iron man or triathlon or something then i would say still the garment has an edge so guys this was the review for the apple watch series 10 do let me know what do you feel about the same again as i've told you guys i'll leave the link of amazon in the description so that you can check the exact current value with any discounts that are available anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys and uh, by the way guys uh, again uh, i have been actually using the iphone as my primary um, smartphone for the last one month so i'll also be doing the in-depth uh, uh, full length unbiased review for this one also so do let me know if you have any specific questions about this one that uh, you guys want i included in my review and my institution is pretty uh, typical i have been an android user so migrated completely to this one for the last one month so do let me know if you want to know anything specific in that review anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video